Well, you have an amazing young demographic too. Uh, and you know, this is all obviously related to all electric Dodges in the future. But what I found really interesting, Tim, is that you look at the demographic profile of Dodge now, I'm surprised how, where, where you're hitting. I, 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 I wouldn't have put it as young as it is. Yeah, that's, uh, it's interesting. Nobody ever, everybody, if, if you're not in this industry, you say who buys a Dodge, you always think it's a, an older male buyer, right? right. Oh, muscle right. car. That's muscle car. Yeah. And, and, and when you tell people you have the youngest demographic in the industry and the highest percentage of millennials in the industry, people are like, ah, can't be. And then, and then you break it down even further and you go, oh, and the one that's driving it the most is the four-door charger. But, but if you step back and think about it, I mean, that demographic is always looking for something that wasn't what their parents did. This has never changed. Every generation looks back at their previous generation and says, no, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be my own person. And so when we crafted the positioning of the brand, we said, look, we're going to be America's pure muscle performance brand, but performance is defined by our attitude. It's not by your quarter mile time or your zero to 60 time. It's by the attitude of the brand and building this thing that's bigger than selling a car. We say all the time, I'm not trying to sell you a car ever. I'm trying to invite you to a party. I want you to uh, join the brotherhood. Hmm. And it doesn't matter if you're buying a Pentastar or a 5.7 Hemi, or a 6.4, or a 6.2, or a Red Eye, or a Demon, or whatever, you're part of this group of 13 million people that love this brand, and it's not about buying a car. 